Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. It's Tutorial Tuesday guys and so this is a requested one and it's pretty pretty easy to actually look at. So today we're going to be talking about how you can do things that has to do with both fracture and rigid body directly in Cinema 4D. So if you go ahead and just click over here you can drop a simple floor. Floor is one of the most basic things you can learn how to make in Cinema. Then we're going to drop a simple cube here. So next thing which I'm going to do is directly from here because Cinema 4D gets to work with things that are known as tags. I'm going to come down here and go over to this part called simulation and I'm going to hit the rigid body simulation. So the rigid body tag needs to be assigned to the object that you want to make a rigid body. So the floor I'm going to right click and go over to this other section where I have simulation and I'm also going to drop a collider body tag. Now this tag only tells Cinema 4D that this is what this object is at a given time. So if we go back here and click the playback button, you will see our animation starts happening. If you want to actually use this particular thing, let's say you want to use it in a cloner or something like that, the only thing which you need to do is to go ahead and assign a cloner to this particular object. So how can we do this? Actually go over to the menu, click over to this part where you have the MoGraph and add cloner. And so for the cloner, I'm just going to click on this and throw this directly inside here. With this done, the next thing which you need to do is to go ahead and offset this just a tiny bit and also increase this or to separate it from where it is at a given point in time. So let's say we want this cloner to be about this high. So if I also want this to spread across different kinds of mode, I can always change this from grid, honeycomb to whatever thing that we have directly here. And because I already have this, you would see once I go back and press the playback button, the animation still plays. So if you want to do something that actually has to do with dynamics, it is very, very easy. The next thing that has been asked is, what if you want to actually make fracture? Fracture is pretty, pretty easy. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and simply delete this, throw in that same cube that we had before. So I'm just going to, uh, you know, drag this all the way up, stretch this across the board. So something really simple like this is what we're going to go for. And the fracture which we're going to use is one of the very best fracture that has been made in Cinema 4D, which is known as the Veroni fracture. So Veroni fracture can be found here once you go over to MoGraph and Veroni fracture. So I'm going to put that there, carry this cube or pick this cube and plug it directly under this. So we have this happening. If you want to fill like this at any point in time, you can just hit the fillet like button and soften this out. But we don't want to have that because it looks a little bit too cheesy and it doesn't have so much strength. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off, select the Veronite Fracture one more time, and you can go ahead and offset this as much as you want. This offsetting looks so cool because we can see the differences between these. And at any point in time you want to change this, you can use various cells and other things to generate more stuff. You can use shaders, you can use different attributes to actually change how this thing works. So next thing which you need to do is to, you know, come over here, right click, and then assign a simulation tag. We're also going to reassign the same rigid body that we have. Make sure it's clicked and also make sure that you've set all of the elements to become all. So instead of the elements to stay as either top or let's say second, we're assigning the individual elements as all. So once we go back and press the playback button, you see our animation still plays. But what else can we do with this? So let's say we want this to be triggered by an object. We don't want it to happen automatically. We want an animation to actually occur and let this happen. So what we can do here is I can go ahead, select the Veronite Fracture one more time, and let's actually go through and turn this all the way back to zero. So nothing is happening. It's still in the very same state that it is. And the next thing which we're going to do is come through and create a very tiny sphere. This sphere is something that we're going to use to generate something that would make a lot of sense at the end. So what we can do now is directly click here and switch the trigger. So we don't want it to happen immediately. We want it to happen on collusion. Collusion simply means that once something attacks it or once something gets collided with this particular object, we want the animation to play back. So for this, what we're going to do is right click directly from here and we're going to add a simulation tag that says that this should be a collider body. Now, how does this work? Because we do not have a live preview of how this can work, we're going to go ahead and animate this. So to do this, I'm going to click on the keyframe here, move over to a frame like say um, 20, and from 20, I'm just gonna push this over to this part and also add another key. A cool thing with Cinema 4D is at any point in time, so let's say we go over to 10, and I push this all the way up and add a key, you can visually see the arc happening there. And another cool thing is at any point, you can go ahead, 
pick up this particular uh, arc that you have directly here. So it's more like you're visually, you know, playing with the keyframe, right? So I can put this here and add direct this directly on my viewport. So I can position this about this point, you know, press the playback button and see what happens. All right, so this is exactly how you can make this very interesting, interesting animation directly here in Cinema 4D. So in case you want to do anything that has to do with simulation, that has to do with physics, or maybe you want to do some dynamics like this using more graph features, of course, this is how you can do it. And if you have more questions about Cinema 4D, please ask them in the comment section. If you understand or you learned something from this video, go ahead and hit the like button and also turn on notification and also share with your friends, guys. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification so you don't miss the next episode of Tutorial Tuesday, Free Friday and all that stuff. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, Free Friday, Tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.